Since last fall, Laura Fisher has offered guided historic walking tours of Tupelo, but this tour is all about the city's most famous resident. I'm going to be your escort and guide today on uh, the Elvis tour. Caressa Duran is from Hernando and is a huge Elvis fan. Yes, that's an understatement. Her boyfriend, Keith Wilkie, lives in Seattle. There's such a big Elvis influence down here, and so I was trying to show him all that. When I was doing some research on the internet, I came across this tour, and I'm like, oh, I bet even I could learn some stuff that I don't know about Elvis. So after spending a day at Graceland, they found themselves at the old Lee County Courthouse. Here in 1946 is where Elvis walked to perform on the with Slim Pickens on the Mississippi Slim Show. Fisher did a lot of research and found some interesting stories. One involves a young mischievous Elvis at a farmer's fruit stand. He gets this shiny red apple and you're watching him. And all of a sudden you see him just take off running with the apple. And you said, hey, you can't take that apple. And he said, why not? He said, because that's stealing. The tour also stops by Mill Village, the neighborhood where the Presley family lived, and the old garment factory where Gladys Presley once worked. Next on the agenda, a look at the fairground site where Elvis first sang in public and returned early in his career. It all wraps up at the Tupelo Hardware Store. This is where in uh, January of 1946, Elvis got his first guitar. Both Caressa and Keith say the tour gave them a glimpse into the human side of Elvis. Even when he was, you know, the biggest superstar of his time, he was still always giving money away. I think it's because he remembered this and how it was to be that way. You head back to Seattle, you have a new, I guess, appreciation for Elvis? I do, I do, and this really helped solidify that. And Fisher says that's the main point. Of course she wants the tours to be entertaining, but more importantly, she is hoping that participants will walk away from the 90-minute excursion with better insight into Elvis' early years and how this area helped shape, mold, and influence the young man who would grow up to become the world's most famous entertainer. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.